you know, one day I'm going to be looking at my kids in the eye, maybe a daughter, a son, maybe I'll just always own dogs, and they'll look up at me with their puppy eyes or their human eyes and, and they'll say, Daddy, or Ruff, what was really going on when you were growing up? And I'm going to look down at them, I'm going to get down on one knee, I'm going to look at them dead in the eyes, like a, like a good dad would, like a Danny Tanner, straight out of, straight out of that full house of fun. And I would say, son, I have no idea what was going on. Our generation is going to be remembered for having a group of people who could just get famous because people knew who they were. It's bad. Anyone can do it. It's just a thing now. He's my favorite YouTuber because he has a million subscribers. He's my favorite YouTuber because he knows my other favorite YouTuber. He's my favorite YouTuber because he does a challenge video once. You want to know why he's my favorite YouTuber? He's my favorite celebrity because he's the son of someone who knows a friend of his. We're going to be remembered as the generation that learned everything from Google. Back when I was younger, there was a thing called Encyclopedia Britannica. I, I don't know what Britannica means, but it sounds noble and knowledgeable. It sounds, actually sounds like a cruise ship in the 30s. We're going to be remembered for being stupid enough to bring back high-waisted shorts as a trend. That's like trying to wear mom jeans and be a slut at the same time. Raves. We're going to be remembered for raves. What's a rave? How does that classify as a concert? How is that music any... I mean, it's to me, I hear the music and it sounds like Transformers having sex. Is that... that's just me? It's just me. The Prius. We're going to be remembered for the Prius. And I swear that thing was invented by a bunch of professional assassins or stealth mode ninjas because that is the quietest damn car and you don't make quiet cars like that unless you're trying to quietly fuck shit up. I think we're going to be remembered for being the most sensitive generation to ever walk the earth. I was bullied growing up, I get it, and that's not the only thing I'm saying we're sensitive about, but where was all my online love when that Jeremy kid pushed me really hard and called me a pussy in front of a girl I liked in seventh grade. Nowhere. Granted, I was wearing puka shells, but I didn't deserve that. Facebook stalking your ex. You go through a breakup and you've got the full play-by-play -play weeks afterwards just to see what's going on with their lives. And then the person who is being stalked knows they're being stalked, therefore creates the illusion that they're having a good time. We're a fucked up people. We're going to be remembered for texting people five feet away from us in Starbucks because Oh my god, Jessica, the guy in front of you totally looks like Zac Efron. Oh my god, you know so right? I think my ovaries are going to explode. I was just going to say that. One caramel macchiato, please. So my birthday is tomorrow. Mañana in Espanol, Spanish for all of you English-speaking folk. When my parents came into town, we went to the Chargers game. My brother was here. It was a good time. Posted it all on my social media stuffs, my Twitter, Instagram. But yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what I should do for my birthday. If you have any suggestions, you know, throw it down in the comments because I will read every single comment that you have. I'll, you know, whatever. I'll read every comment ever from you. I will follow your YouTube page just to read all the comments you put on people's videos. See how many times you write fake and gay. Or if you just want to say, hey, my, it's your birthday, man. Either way, the comments are free game. Be nice. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and you stay classy. <laughs>